In my opinion, this Relentless skin for Rose is currently the best in the game, and you can get it for completely free, albeit after doing a whole bunch of missions in DMZ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Rose Relentless skin and which missions you need to complete. I'll also give a few tips on a few of the trickier missions, but I'm not going to go through each one as this video would end up being over half an hour long. Okay, now the first thing to know is that there is a lot of missions to do on DMZ, but the good part is that you get rewarded for each one and you learn some great operators and skins along the way. So this will be a bit of a grind, but will be so worth it if you decide to do it. The actual mission to get the Rose Relentless skin is the Tier 4 Black Mouse mission, Breaking and Entering. But to get there, we first have to start with the Legion Tier missions, and specifically the Tier 1 mission, Storm the Stronghold. For this, you get a blueprint and some XP, but more importantly, unlocks more missions. Then you need to complete 5 tier 2 legion missions to unlock the tier 2 story mission frame job which is fairly straightforward and will unlock the anonymous skin for koenig once you complete the tier 1 and 2 missions in legion head over to the white lotus missions tab here you need to complete the flight recon mission but again to do that we need to complete five tier 1 missions in white lotus first then once we've done that we then need to do the two birds story mission which again unlocks by doing five tier 2 missions in white lotus but you do get the defuse skin for completing this mission. I bet you can see what I mean when I said there's lots of missions to do and it can be a bit of a grind. There are layers of missions to do to unlock more missions. So once we've done the tier 2 story missions from Legion and White Lotus, basically the frame job and two birds missions, we get to unlock the black mouse missions. This is where we can start to feel a little closer to our final goal of completing the breaking and entering mission and getting the Rose Relentless skin. Once in the black like mouse missions, we need to complete the tier 1 story mission, Who's Watching, followed by the tier 2 story mission, Espionage, which does unlock the cool looking triage skin for Rose, then we've got to do the tier 3 story mission, National Treasure, then at long last, we complete the tier 4 breaking and entering mission. Again, within the black mouse tab though, to unlock these story missions, there are missions required to get there. So to get access to the tier 3 story mission national treasure for example, you'll have to do other tier 3 missions, and the same goes for tier 4 as well. Just as the case was with the legion and white lotus missions. So there is a lot to do, and most of them are quite straightforward. You can just follow the instructions on the mission list. There are a couple that are a little more awkward though, so I'm going to give you some quick tips for them for when you get there, and they're mainly regarding the tier 4 Black Mouse missions. For example, when we look at Paper Shredder, it's about getting specific intel and diagrams and extracting, but there aren't really clues to where these items are. For the Black Lotus intels, they usually spawn in Rohan Oil in the back buildings, search around there each drop, and you're gonna find them easily. Then for the diagrams, head over to these areas on the right hand side of the map, and you'll find them burrowed away in these buildings. Another the potential tricky mission is the Eye in the Sky, which requires us to loot 5 airplane supply drops in one deployment. For this I recommend activating a SAM turret, which will spawn 2 supply crates, and you can do this a few times, or mix it up with waiting for the ones on the map to drop later in the game, and just drive over to those. These are the only ones that are a little trickier, just because of the unknown aspects of where to go. That doesn't mean that some of the other missions aren't difficult though, but they're at least clear and straightforward. The actual breaking and entering mission isn't as difficult as some of these earlier missions, but you will definitely want to team up with other players for this, and if you are looking for teammates, leave a comment down below, or head over to my Discord, and the link for that is in the description. For the final mission to get the Rose Relentless skin, we need to head over to Al Bagra Fortress, with a corresponding key for that area, then go to the sewers, reroute 7 security devices in under 4 minutes, then loot and extract the documentation. If you want a full video on this let me know in the comments, but I didn't want to make this video too long by going into every detail for every mission. And if you are interested in other amazing free skins and operators that you can get on Warzone 2, be sure to head over to these videos.